Hi there, I'm Eitan and welcome to Wix Fixer. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make some slightly more complicated animations using the Wix Animations API. Uh, if you remember last time, we set up some very basic animations. So we set up our timeline and we added an element and we played our timeline. And this time we'll be delving into the different options that we can use to time our animations and make them uh, repeat and reverse and different things like that. So let's get started. Okay, so as I said, we have our basic timeline set up here uh, with the red box element. This we all did in the previous video. And I've added another brown box uh, just that we can deal with some timing examples. And the first thing that I wanna do is show you the timeline options. So if we head over here to the API and we head over to timeline, then you'll see that except for the basic timeline, we have different options that we can add. So the first option is repeat. So if we want our animation to repeat several times, then we can add the repeat option. And the way that you add in options is as you can see right over here, just within the timeline parentheses, you're gonna add an object with these options defined. Uh, so we have repeat here. So here the animation will repeat three times and uh, repeat delay. So that would be a number of milliseconds to wait between repetitions. And yo-yo would be how the animations will play out if um, there are multiple animations on the same timeline. And let's check that out. So I'm going to actually just copy over the example that they have here to save some time. And I'm going to head right back over to the website and paste that right in there. So let's see what happens now that we have repeat three and repeat delay. I'm going to put here 300, just so it's a little more obvious. And let's go ahead and preview what happens to our red box now. So we see the animation played once, and then it reversed back, and then played again, and reversed back. Um, and that is because we had yo-yo on true. And let's see how it'll look if we have yo-yo on false. So I'm gonna head here to false and just hit preview. And then you can see the animation just happens three times. And each time it just kind of jumps back to the beginning of the animation, of the animation instead of going back and forth. That was because we had yo-yo on. So that's really what the timeline um, options will do. So I'm just gonna head back to the editor. And now let's talk about um, adding another animation to the same timeline. And this time we're gonna add an animation for this um, brown box over here. So I'm gonna head back over to timeline and let's just do timeline.add. And in this case, we're gonna be adding brown box to the timeline. And as I said, the, the critical thing that we need to have here is duration. Um, so let's make a duration of two seconds this time. And except for duration, let's talk about how we can animate this uh, brown box. So if we head over to our add method here inside of the Wix documentation, then we can see over here the different animation attributes that we can add. So duration is 100% uh, necessary. This is the really, I think, the only one that we have to have. And then we can have delay. Uh, we can do opacity. We can rotate the element. Um, and we can scale the element. And we can move the element, pretty much. So let's try and tap into a bunch of these things. So let's. what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the opacity and I'm going to change the Y value of the element just so that we can see some different kinds of animations from what we saw uh, last time. And I'll give it a slight delay. So I'm going to head over here and I'm going to say first, let's say delay. Oops. Delay and I'm going to delay that 200 milliseconds. And then I'm going to say opacity. And let's make that 20. Let's just make sure I'm using the right um, 
the right data type. So let's go over here and opacity number, okay? Uh, but it has to be from 0, 0.0 to 1.0. Okay, so 20 won't work here. Uh, that'll have to be, let's say, um, 0 0.2. And then I'm going to add, sorry, I'm going to add Y. And then I'm going to say, let's say, 300. And I think that will be pixels. So this kind of describes the end state of our animation. So by the end of the animation, we should have opacity of 20%, and we should move uh, on the y-axis by 300, if I'm not mistaken, or it'll move to 300. Let's see. Let's go to y. And as you can see, even though I've done this countless times, uh, I always check the documentation when I'm doing it again, because you can never remember all these minute details. Um, so let's see why. Okay, so a positive number specified target pixel down. Okay, so it'll be it'll move to the um, I think 300 pixel target relative to the last animated position from wherever the elements or elements are positioned when the specific animation begins. Okay, so I think if it's 300, it'll move to pixel 300, um, a relative to original position. Okay, so maybe if we have several animations in a row, uh, then it works differently if you use plus equals or if you use a regular positive number. But in our case, since we don't have several animations on that element, then this should pretty much be the same thing. So I'm just going to leave it as is, and that should just move 300 pixels down. So let's check that out. And I'm just going to hit preview over here. And there we go. Okay, so that worked. And you can see that everything repeated three times because that's how we set up our timeline. So I'm going to head back to the editor. And yeah, let's see what happens if I take off this delay. I want to see if both animations run at the same time. OK, so they're still running uh, one after the other. And let's head back to our documentation. And what I want to check out is this offset option down over here. Um, so we have easing. That's not what I wanted to look at. Uh, offset. OK, so. When the animation starts in the timeline, if no offset is specified, it'll start after the end of the previous animation. So that's what was happening in our animation. So first we had the red box animating, and then we had the brown box animating. Um, and if I wanted to make them run both at the same time, then how would I do that? Timeline, let's, look at, no, no, no. let's see. Okay, a non-negative number will specify the absolute offset from the beginning of the timeline in milliseconds. So what I'm going to try and do is just put zero in there and see if that makes the offset, uh, if it makes them animated at the same time. And yeah, so where I'm going to put that is right over here um, after our um, options here for the animation, because that's how it's specified here inside of the documentation. And I'm just going to go right over here, and I'm going to put 0. And let's see if that makes both of the animations uh, start at the same time. And it did. OK, so that's what you need to do if you want two animations that are happening at the same time. Uh, one last thing that I want to show you in this video is how to um, reverse the timeline after it's done. So if we head back to the documentation, you'll see here that we have a reverse option. So this plays the timeline in reverse. And if I go over here, and I'm going to get rid of this offset. So if you remember correctly, um, now Theoretically, red box should play before brown box. But instead of doing play, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do reverse. 
okay? And now it should play backwards. So the brown box should be first, and then red box should play. So let's preview that. And nothing is happening. <laughs> so it could be that we need to play it once before we uh, are able to reverse. Ah, so yes, plays a timeline that is not at its beginning in the reverse direction. Okay, so we could only reverse um, after we finished with our complete timeline. So this is a good chance to show you the onComplete method. Okay, and onComplete will do something once we're done with our animation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this onComplete to reverse the animation back once it's done. Okay, and again, you saw the yo-yo uh, can do stuff like that too, um, but this is just another way of doing stuff like that, and it's a little more controlled uh, because you can really define what happens on the onComplete here. Uh, so let's set that up. I'm going to go back over here and head back to our editor. And then I'm going to set up, I'm just going to have the regular play over here. And here I'm going to have a timeline dot on complete. And here there's a callback function. So this is what's going to happen when we complete. And I'm just going to say timeline dot reverse. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get rid of the repeat. Uh, just to keep things simple. And actually, I could just delete this entire option. So I'm getting rid of all the options for the timeline. So what should happen now is that red box and brown box should play. And I'm going to add back the delay that we had over here, just that so we have something a little more visual. So let's have 200. So what should happen is that red box should play, brown box should play, and then they should both reverse in the opposite direction. So let's head over to preview. And brown box, and brown box is back, and red box is back. Okay, so that's how reverse would work in terms of animations. And you can, let's say, add in a you know set interval here, not set interval, but maybe set timeout, and then reverse it after a certain amount of time, uh, and really play around here with the different um, animations. So that's how to add a little more complexity to your Wix animations. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.